Well, welcome to the video series on understanding domain names. Uh, this is part one of a three-part video series about domain names. And in this part we're going to look at uh, the basic structure of a domain name. Uh, we're going to use the IBM domain name and as, as an example. And the first thing I'm going to show you is a typical web address, www.ibm.com. Um, you can see it consists of three parts, the www parts, a dot, IBM dot and com. Now the domain part is actually the IBM dot com and the domain part is actually split into two components. Um, the dot com bit is called the top level domain name or the first level domain and the IBM is the second level domain name. Now a domain name itself can be used for a web address and in which case it's usually prefixed with a www or it can be used for an email address, in which case it's prefixed with an at sign and uh, a name here, and using sales as an example. Now, going back to this top level domain name in the com, uh, it's an example of one of the what we call non geographic top level domain names, and there are other non geographic domain names that you're probably familiar with .net, .org, .gov. Now, all of these top-level domain names are actually pre-allocated. Uh, you don't get to make one up. You get to choose which one you're going to use. So when you're registering a domain name, um, you get to choose whether you're going to register it as a .com, a .net, or a .org, or a .gov. Um, if you're a company or a person in a specific location, um, in the UK, for example, then you may consider using a country specific domain name and here we've got one here uh, .uk um, there are country specific domain names for all of the countries in the world and we'll look at those in a late, later video um, in the next video we're going to take a look in more detail at the second level domain name, the IBM part of the domain name uh, this part you get to choose yourself and we're going to look at that and uh, how you actually go about choosing it. Until the next video, bye.